Hello, this is Mark from the Me Techie channel. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about Stripe and connecting your custom domain via Namecheap. Namecheap would be the domain provider. Stripe would be the payment processor in this case. When Stripe sends emails out, sometimes it's nice not to have just stripe.com as the sender. It would be nice to see your own domain so that when customers receive emails from Stripe, it looks like it's coming from your domain. It's more branded, it's more professional, it's more recognizable. So the idea is you want to validate that domain in Stripe against, in this case, uh, Namecheap, Namecheap the be, being the provider. Now, if you are using Stripe with, let's say, GoDaddy or some other real popular providers, you don't need this video. There's written instructions directly provided by Stripe for you. They walk you step by step through written instructions. Uh, but for those um, that are using Namecheap specifically, we're going to do that today here because there are no written instructions for Namecheap that I could find. Uh, and, and if you are a domain expert, you don't need instructions. You're already accustomed to how dom domains work and so forth. But if you're not, if you're just know enough to be dangerous in this situation, then this video is for you, I think. All right, so let's take a look. First, I'm going to log into Stripe. From your dashboard, you want to locate settings here at the bottom left. Click on settings. And you want to locate to where it says email. And that's going to be located here under business settings called emails. Now you'll see here at the bottom of this list, it says email domain. And you already see that I have mykeystomusic.com, which is my branded domain. And you also see that it says sending. So that anytime Stripe sends an email to a customer, it's coming from My Keys to Music, which is a branded and friendlier way of doing it. And you can see here that it is in fact verified. Well, I host this particular domain name on Namecheap. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up right now. So let's pretend that you're doing your own. Let me just do the MeTechie one. So I'll click Add Domain, and I'll put in MeTechie.com, and make sure that's you know spelled correctly, obviously. Click Add Domain. And then it will provide various things for you to enter and review. So it says Add a Domain, and then it says Loading DNS Records. This shouldn't take too long. It's taking a while to generate DNS records. Please come back later. Oh, boy. So we've got some issues here. Let me take a look and try that again. Click Verify Domain. There we go. All right, now it says here, add these DNS records to your domain provider to verify that you own it, essentially, and then wait up to 72 hours for that to be approved. So you're presented with eight different settings that you need to put into Namecheap, all right? Starting with a text type setting, and then the rest of these are CNAME, 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 and this bottom one is CNAME still, but this is the bounce.metechie.com. So let me show you a few of these in Namecheap, and it'll make it super simple if you have the same exact scenario on your end. So now I'm going to log into Namecheap here. This is my dashboard, and you can see I have my original domain, my keys to music, and now we'll try to get metechie.com validated and verified. So I'll click Manage. All right. Then from here, you want to click Advanced DNS. Now, you may already have some records appearing under your particular advanced DNS profile, and that's fine. You can leave those settings there. You'll need to add eight new settings, though, believe it or not. So that's what we're going to do now. Click Add New Record. And the first thing it asks is basically what type of DNS record are you adding? So we'll start at the top here, and we'll pick the text type. So here it is, TXT Record. So, so far, so good. This is pretty easy. Here's where it gets a little tricky, especially if you've never done this before. It's asking for host. Well, I don't see anything called host here. So that could lead you down the wrong trap rabbit hole. Um, and actually, it's showing you that the host is metechie.com, the actual domain itself. And you might be tempted to copy, in that, copy that and then paste that into the host. But you'd be incorrect to do that, and it won't work that way. You actually have to put the at symbol here because it's the domain itself, so you're using the at symbol to tell the host that you want the actual domain used here. It's something to do with a naked domain, a domain without a www, and I don't want to get into too much of the complexity. Just put an at symbol for this first setting, and you should be good to go. Then for the value down below here, you'll want to copy that to the clipboard, and then paste that. That's the one thing that where the word actually meets the word. And then for the TTL is time to live. That basically says how often and frequent you want this setting to propagate through the internet. I would say just leave this as automatic, but you do have options here. Um, I wouldn't play with these options in this scenario. Just leave it as automatic. 
Now, once you're satisfied with that and you've pasted that correctly, you can use this Save Changes option here, and that will save the listing just like that. Now we've just done our first one. Let's do a couple of these others, and then we'll do the one at the bottom. That's the only other tricky one. So I'll click Add New Record. In this case, we have to pick the C name type. So C name record is right here, no problem. The host, in this case, is going to be the name. And here's yet another curveball. You want to drop the domain from this string too. In other words, you want to only include everything to the domain key and to the left, this entire string. In fact, if you've copied this and pasted it here, Namecheap is going to complain that that's exceeding, potentially complain that it's exceeding 60 characters because that's the limit here in the host name. So bottom line, just grab everything to the left of the domain key so it looks just like that. The target, in this case, is the actual string. So you can use the Copy Clipboard button here and paste that here like that. Then I can click Save Changes there. Now, one quick note is that when you go to this string, you might be confused to see that it actually ends with a period because we don't think about websites or domains for that matter ending in a period. So why would you need one here? But that's the way it works. There is going to be a period here. Even if you try to delete the period and push save changes, it's still going to put that pesky period in there for you under Namecheap. So that's just a subtlety to be aware of. I'm sure there's a logical reason and probably one that makes me look dumb because I don't know the reason. Um, but that's okay. This is not about me. This is about getting you set up with Namecheap and Stripe. All right, let's do one more of these other middle ones here. So I'll click another C name record. So I'll click add record. I'll go C name. The host again is everything to the left, including the word domain key. Paste that into the host. No problem there. And then we'll grab the actual value here. Copy that with the clipboard tool. That's fine paste that here, and then save my changes. So I've just done three of the settings. The rest of these all work the same way until you get to the bottom when you get to this bounce option. For the bounce, you don't want to include the domain either. You have to drop the domain from that as well. So in this case, you do need the word bounce though. So I'm gonna hit copy there, and then add a new record. This will still be a C name record, and it won't be the add symbol, it'll be the word bounce. All right, and that's the kind of DNS record we're creating here. And then I will click copy to the clipboard on the rest of it and then paste. And that one will work just like that. And then you can save changes there. There we go. And apparently I may not have saved changes here in this other one. There's also an option here in Namecheap where you can save all changes. All right. So even though this tooltip here is lingering, let me just refresh the whole page and see if I can get rid of that pesky tooltip. There we go. All right, so this is what it'll look like. Now, please note, it might resort these on you. So you might be like in the middle of this and realizing what happened. It actually could sort. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it sorts. It looks like it might be sorting by host with at being at the bottom. Looks like you have a choice of sorting it any way you want, though. Yeah, you can sort it any way you want. And incidentally, you can also filter these out. So if you only want to see your C name type entries, you can click C name, click apply, and that'll filter it out. Just be careful that this gets a little tricky too, especially when this list gets long. You want to make sure you clear that. And then as this list gets really long, you'll see an option that says show more or something like that. So don't be fooled that you might be saying, what happened to my list? It seems short. Yeah, might have to just pay close attention and make that grow by using the show more option. Okay, so there's that. Now, as you're doing this, you can feel free to check the records periodically. In fact, I'll go ahead and check this now just to see what happens. Look at this. Um, we went from having eight records not confirmed to four. It already likes my text record with the at symbol. It likes my first and second C name, and it likes my bounce. So everything I've done so far, it's very happy with. So if I were to complete this, it would be uh, hopefully very happy with the whole thing. And when that happens, once this is done, you will receive an email directly from Stripe to whatever email that you've told Stripe to send to you for your uh, you as the account holder. And your email will look something like this. This email is indicating that they have found the right information on your domain, but it, you're not completely uh, verified yet. Or maybe this is the final verification. In any case, you'll get an email. You might have to wait a little longer and then you'll finally get one more email. So 
you'll see that it might say pending verification, which means that it's in the process of verifying. But if you check back in a little while, you might see that it says verified. The only last step that you need to do is that if you want that domain to actually be the one Stripe uses, you can just use this option here that says set as sending domain. And when you click on that option, the word sending should appear next to the domain you're trying to establish. And that's it. Those are your settings between Stripe, domain verification, and the provider Namecheap. I hope this really helped. If it did, please leave a comment and uh, let me know. It would be, I'd be very interested to see if this helps one person, no people, or 100 people. Thank you for watching.